I would go with something cool. We've arrived at Treehouse Dam. We're in the second time in a row on the afternoon safari. We've managed to find some animals here. This time it's not a kudu like it was yesterday, but it is in the form of three buffalo bulls cooling themselves down on a hot afternoon. And I can tell you right now, David and I are sitting here, and I'm sure all the ladies in final control and James Byrett won't know what we have, but uh, I'm sure we're all a little bit jealous, aren't you? I'd love to be spending my Monday afternoon just lounging about in the pool. Instead, I've got the second best job in the world. Other than lounging around the pool, I just get to come and show you all these animals that are having a great time, which is not too bad either, I suppose. But these are buffalo are looking healthy again, just like the kudu. I think we're going to do animal appreciation day. And just to show you how sort of strong the animals can really be. Even the oxpeckers are looking good. <laughs> they must be having lots and lots of ticks at the moment. That's all we've been seeing. We've actually been seeing quite a few oxpeckers sitting on the animals. The other day I counted 15 oxpeckers on one impala. That must have uh, been an interesting experience. Maybe it was in a trance-like state as it had them all grooming. However, this is one of my favorite things to see, and I've told you all this many times, is the way that the oxpeckers will actually dangle off of a buffalo and uh, use them to sip water. So hopefully we're going to get one of them that are going to do something along those lines, maybe dangle off the buffalo's nostril and do a handstand and take a sip of water, but not for now. At the moment, those two are just relaxing, cleaning themselves, and I think that that buffalo is using this dam as now. A, well, a, t a toilet, a potty. That, that's why I would not drink the water from the dams. Just because of that, we'll leave that up to Steph, of course. Those two, they're just relaxing in the nice shade. And I suspect as the sun gets a little bit lower and it changes angles, there's not going to be very much shade there. And I'm sure that they will move around. But that's not all that was trying to keep cool. The, cool. There's also a little blacksmith lapwing that at one point, I think it thought it was a duck because it was in the water up to its belly which is actually quite unusual. We normally see them wading through the water, of course, but uh, you can still see majority of their legs, but this one went right in. So it just shows you how hot it is, and it's already had a little bath. Cooled itself down, feeling fresh. Now just grooming all, or preening all of its feathers. This is really nice. We seem to have start our safaris off with loads of animals, which is really nice. Maybe we're going to have a great day, another beautiful reflection but it's just amazing what water can do and how it attracts animals and that's something of course to look forward to as we head into the drier months now coming into winter is that hopefully this water is going to stay around because that is most certainly going to attract the animals and it will make it a lot easier for us to try and find them where there is water and where there is no food animals will have to make the decision and we see that quite often. They'll walk kilometers and kilometers to find water every single day, and especially if you're something like a buffalo, if you're an elephant, impala, waterbuck, zebra, you need to drink water every single day. Oh, well, they're done now. Now, you can see these boys as they stand up, you can really see their size, especially as they come out of the water. They're not small. Those two, well, the one that was looking at us looks like it's slightly... Are you older or are you younger? No, he's got, hasn't got very sharp tips on the end. Ooh, getting a bit excited. And Rakesh, you're wondering how large does one uh, male buffalo weigh? Well, I think these boys at the moment are pushing just under a ton, but I, I would say anywhere between 800 and 950 kilograms, somewhere around there. I think there's some exceptional boys, and I'm sure it also depends on how, how much your horns weigh. You've seen how they drop their heads down to the crown. Those horns are not very light. But that's it. They've probably been resting here for most of the day. And now they'll get up and do some grazing for the rest of the evening. 